legislation to improve the availability and access to corneal transplant and other organ donation services. Meanwhile, there are more than 70,000 people with corneal diseases who are at, re at risk of going blind. One such person is Victor Were, who recently had a laser-assisted corneal transplant in the entire African continent and India. The laser-assisted corneal transplant technology is only available in Kenya. Ray Polo reports Victor's vision troubles and his chance at sight thanks to the laser technology. A living gift from the dead, a cornea. Cornea is the transparent part of the eye which greatly accounts for the eye's optical power. Victor Wery was always a guest at the opticians since he was in high school. They just told me my, eye, my left eye is weak, but they didn't give details. So of course I took spectacles like any other person. His dependency on lenses would increase by the years until he noticed significant changes in the strength of his sight. I started feeling like I can't see, especially at night. His low vision controlled his lifestyle to an extent. When I'm using my computer in the office, sometimes you can't see clearly. You have to bring everything close to your eye. And uh, of course, it makes you feel uneasy sometimes because people are wondering. This guy is already in spectacles and everything is close to his eyes. Driving at night was a problem. I could literally not drive when I go to work. If I leave work past, Six. I had to leave my car at the office. I take my tattoo or whatever I was going, if I was going to visit a friend and it's past six, I'll leave my car there and take my tattoo. A routine eye check at Lyons Sight First Eye Hospital diagnosed keratoconus. Keratoconus occurs when the cornea thins out and bulges like a cone. Changing the shape of the cornea brings light rays out of focus, causing blurry vision and short-sightedness. Victor appreciates the burden of that blurry pain. In addition to being short-sighted, I developed the keratoconus. So it's like a disease that is coming on top of another one. So of course it worsens the situation. He would take up a corrective procedure known as cross-linking. Unfortunately, it was too late to restore his weakened left eye. So he ran to the laser eye center for advice. He told me I had to do a transplant on my left eye. On my right eye, it was still uh, not bad. So I did uh, the cross-linking on my right eye. And because I was scared at first, I was like, oh gosh, I've never been to a theater before. Victor braved the surgery, hoping for some visual victory at the end. Dr. Mukesh Joshi, who has handled thousands of such transplants in his three decades long career, explains the chances. In penetrating or traditional corneal transplant, we are going to remove whole cornea from top to bottom and put a new cornea, which we get it from the eye banks from United States and take the stitches. When you do this traditional corneal transplant, 5% chances of rejections are there. Some patient can get infection. So we have found the better way of doing it that is known as laser-assisted corneal transplant. Advantage over here is we are not going inside the eye, so it is a non-penetrating surgery. Chance of rejections are very remote. Uh, recovery is excellent, infection and everything is almost unknown. It is uh, so precise that it can burn the tissue, it can coagulate the tissue, it can remove the tissue. There are various types of laser. The laser that we are going to use today is known as excimer laser. This laser is uh, very specified that it will remove the disease cornea in a very precision way. Then we are preparing the donor first, and then we are going to prepare the recipient. Once we have uh, prepared the recipient, remove his disease cornea, we'll put the donor cornea and take the stitches. 
The second procedure that involves the actual transplant of the donated cornea to the recipient's eye is underway. It is a delicate one, yet less invasive, and the patient can only hope for a second chance at sight once they fully recover. Two weeks on, Victor Were returns for his checkup. This patient has recovered his sight by 45% in two weeks' time. And eventually we are expecting that six to eight weeks time, he will get about 90, more than 90% reason. His new cornea has been the greatest gift he could have ever received. One, three. A parcel of cells that has transcended geographical and perhaps racial borders to land him a vision. Even if you have the money and uh, there's no donor, then of course you'll still continue suffering. So of course having a donor, that's something that is so good. The corneas are harvested and selected in the US with clear specifications including the age of the donor, course of death, time when the cornea was collected and the full cell count of the cornea among other quality checks. This technology of laser assisted corneal transplant is only available at, in Nairobi, uh, in Africa, it is not available in African, other African countries. So I'm pleased to inform that we are also advancing in ophthalmology in Kenya. Diseases affecting the cornea are a major cause of blindness worldwide, second only to cataract in overall importance. Kenya has grappled with the rise in keratoconus cases, especially among the youth. Keratoconus starts at, let's say, by the age of 10. It becomes worse by the age of 15 to 16, 18. And then it is frozen by the age of 40. But this younger keratoconus patient, if they are not treated, they end up to visual incapacity leading to blindness. According to the Ministry of Health, about 75,000 persons have corneal diseases and need corneal transplant services to prevent them from going blind or to restore sight to those already blind. Only 400 Kenyans have received corneal transplant across the country in the past one year, with some 600 individuals eyeing the services on a swelling waiting list. Most of the patients go to the optician first, and some optician, even after diagnosing, they sit on the patient, which is not correct. It will be much better for the patient if they are referred in time. This is what to do when you suspect keratoconus. Keep eyes clean, avoid rubbing eyes due to allergies, do not use medication unless prescribed, protect your eyes during sporting activities, report any noticeable progression, and do regular and periodical eye tests for family members aged 10 years and above. The Ministry of Health is working on a legislation to improve the availability and access to the corneal transplant services together with other organ donation services through a bill tabled in Parliament. Plans are also underway to ensure that the National Health Insurance Fund includes corneal transplant in the benefits packages. Meanwhile, patients who are on recovery path like Victor Wery have a reason to blink and wink with joy. I feel good and I feel appreciative. Victor may never know that philanthropic heart which donated life to his waning eyesight even in death, but he remains ever so grateful for that gift of sight. Ray Polo, KT News.